Hello everyone, my name is Evan Jacobs. Welcome to another edition of Boxing Time TV. Tonight we have a really good fight coming up. This will be happening on the 28th of this month, July. Mikey Garcia taking on Robert Garcia. No, I'm sorry, Mikey Garcia taking on Robert Easter. Robert Easter Jr. This should be a really entertaining fight. Classic boxer puncher versus a classic boxer. <laughs> and uh, Garcia comes in uh, age 30. Easter is 27. Garcia is 66, Easter is, um, no, no, I'm sorry, Gar guys, I'm tired, so I apologize. Garcia is 5'6", Robert Easter is 5'11", both weigh 135, uh, Mikey Garcia has a reach of 68, Easter has a reach of 76, they're both undefeated, 38 victories for Mikey Garcia, 21 for Robert Easter, let's just get right to this. Fight's going to be 12 rounds, 3 minute rounds, 10 point must scoring system, no mandatory 8 count, 3 knockdown rule waived. Let's get right to it. So we come out now and Mikey Garcia on the left side of the screen, Robert Easter on the right. And these two guys are throwing, uh, you know, throwing, throwing punches and you have Easter trying to get distance. Mikey Garcia trying to shorten that distance. Oh, 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 and he shuts off with a body shot that already gets Robert Easter's attention. Mike Garcia kind of moves him to the ropes, moves the lanky frame. Oh, and goes to the body again. And, and, and look at Mikey Garcia. He knows that he hurt him there. And he wants to end this in short order. He touches him to the, to the body there. And he, oh, Mikey Garcia hitting with, hit with an uppercut. Man, the, the uh, Mikey Garcia coming and doing a chin check and a body check and a resolve check on Robert Easter within the first minute of the first, of the first round. As as uh, Mikey as Robert Easter tries to fight off the ropes, and, I'm, and I keep getting Robert Easter confused with Mikey, with Robert Garcia confused with Mikey Garcia, and all this stuff. And I do apologize. Probably gonna have to run downstairs in a little bit and get some water. And you have Mikey Garcia sitting there, you know, landing landing punches, and he certainly got Robert Easter's attention. But Easter, like I said, fighting back using his distance, using his uh, range, and um, you know, Mikey Garcia. Just knows he needs to be busy. He needs to kind of force this fight. He needs to force Robert Easter out of his comfort zone. You know, Easter's a classic boxer puncher. We're about halfway through this 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 round, and and he lands uh, he lands a left hand on the head of Robert Easter, and you know Easter's Easter is you know just started off doing well, and just once Garcia tapped him and hurt him to the uh, body, uh, it certainly changed the tenor of this of this round. And the question is, is can Robert e can Robert Easter somehow get going, get behind the stick, and get and get in rhythm? That's one thing Mikey Garcia wants to do. He wants to upset the rhythm of Robert Easter, and we'll see. And we'll see if that's something that he is able to do. Uh, you have you have uh, Easter now going. Oh, and he lands a left hand. He lands a left hand, and Mikey Garcia is still trying to land those shots to the body. Still trying to touch Robert Robert Easter. Can't say that I blame him. And we we are we were in the final or about to be in the final 30 seconds. And you have Mikey Garcia going to the body again, hoping to really slow down the movement, hoping to let that lets him let Robert Easter's hands go down. Because Mikey Garcia wants to continue to make the statement that he's made so far, and that's I don't care what kind of boxing you bring to this table, it's not gonna be enough. And um, Mike Garcia gets behind that high guard, and and, and the, th the thing is, the problem is, is that Robert Easter is going to try to run the numbers when he when he does that, figuring that if Mike Garcia has his hands up, just keep throwing punches, make it so hey, Garcia's the only one putting anything out. And Robert Easter did a pretty good job of of you know staying in there, and the judges will reward him even. Uh, one judge does, another judge gives it to Mikey Garcia. Another judge gives it to Robert Easter, so they are even after the first round, 29-29. Let's see what happens here. If if Mikey Garcia can continue to get inside, can continue to land, we know that his body shots the bread and butter, and he and he and he took uh, he took a left hand for his uh, trouble. Once again, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please turn on your notifications. Please share these podcasts with these links with everyone that you possibly can. I'm trying just to create a site, you know, that, or just a page of just, of just content, um, content, um, simulated content, 
And, um, you know, Garcia, I think, obviously comes in with the better, better record. Uh, Garcia has victories over Mauricio Pastrano, Orlando Salino, Roman Martinez, uh, um, uh, Adrian Broner, Sergey Lipnets. So he obviously comes in with the better pedigree. Robert Easter, on the other hand, comes in uh, beating you know, Javier Fortuna, Denis Shafikov. And those, as I'm seeing right here, are probably, you know, Daniel Atta. Those are the biggest names on his on his record. Oh, and, and Mike Garcia landing hard, cracking Rob, Robert Robert Easter, and um, you know you know going going to the body is Mikey Garcia, trying to trying to just land on Robert Robert Easter. It's it's uh it's not easy to do. Um, oh, and, and and taking a shot, taking a taking a shot to the head for his uh, troubles. Is Mikey Garcia? Oh, and an uppercut coming, and Robert Easter. You know, Mikey Garcia. You know, Robert Easter setting some traps and doing really good work off, off, off the ropes. And this may be what he, what he wants. Maybe to wear Mikey Garcia down a little bit. You know, um, Robert Easter has that lanky frame. He looks like he'd go all the way up to welterweight or junior middleweight or maybe even middleweight. And Mikey Garcia. You know, comes in with a lot of power, a lot of formidable power. But, you know, Easter doing those things to keep him off. And now Easter's going to the body. And went three body shots landed on Mikey Garcia. So it's really going to be interesting to see, you know, if in the real fight, can Robert Easter do this? Mikey Garcia is so dedicated, so focused, so, you know, just in in tune. I, I you know, I, I know he has a plan for breaking Robert Easter down. And he's doing a really good job of it here, or at least he was. The problem is, is that... He gets that high guard. Um, Robert Easter has so much distance between them that that it becomes easier. Although a nice body shot from Robert from Mikey Garcia, and he showed an ability to hurt Robert Easter early. So far, Easter's not shown that same same ability. And uh, Mikey Garcia really hoping to make his punches count to slow down the volume of Robert Easter to get his hands down and to really, you know, to to surprise him. Both fighters were still breathing heavy after two rounds. One judge giving it to Mikey Garcia, another judge giving it to Mikey Garcia, and another judge giving it to Mikey Garcia. So Mikey Garcia now up by three points versus Robert Easter. Although Easter comes out, lands a left hand, and seems to want to try to keep this in the center of the ring. Maybe knows that he gave a lot away. Although I think that you know uh, Robert, uh, that Mikey Garcia got hurt by 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 Robert Easter. Um, um, no, I'm sorry. That, that Robert Easter got hurt at one point by Mikey Garcia, and and in the last round. So it remains to be seen if he if he can continue to do that, if he's able to do that. And you have uh, Mikey Mikey Garcia landing now, trying to trying to trying to close that distance. He lands again, again closing that distance well, and you know he's just doing those little little things. He's making his punches count. A little bit more than Robert Easter, and um, you know Easter's trying, trying to use his ranginess, trying to, and and, and it's, but it's just not enough so far, in at this portion of the fight. Oh wow, and then you have Robert, Robert, Robert Easter landing hard on Mikey Garcia. You know, he he's trying. It's just the thing is, is that Rob, Mikey Garcia is slowly slowing down the output from Robert Easter. And Mikey Garcia is landing and setting up setting up shots. And right now he's a little too close, kind of smothering his own punches a bit. He's got a he he's what's well, gonna help him is sort of an element of surprise, although he takes a few punches there.
Oh, wow, Robert Easter punching him off of him. Trying to, doesn't want Mikey Garcia to, to get a hold of this fight, to sort of take it away, to do just enough to lose. And the thing is, is that, um, is, is that, is that, you know, this is, this is, you know, this is, it's easy to fall into a pattern where Robert Easter just kind of does just enough to lose the early rounds and then sort of gets behind and Mikey Garcia sort of takes it over. If, if Robert Easter can continue to use his distance, can continue to use his, his, his you know, his physical gifts, like right now, one judge giving it to Robert Easter, one judge having it even, and another judge giving it to Robert Easter. So this is going back and forth. Mikey Garcia, 87, Robert Easter, 86, going into the fourth round. Once again, you're watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links. Please tell these people about Boxing Time TV. And my whole thing is, hey, why wait? Watch it now and then watch the real thing when the fight, when the fight actually, actually happens. Um, I certainly think that that, oh, look at that. Look at that. Robert Easter landing hard on Mikey Garcia. Oh, and he lands hard again. Oh, and Mikey Garcia kind of getting him against the ropes now. Doesn't doesn't want to lose control of the momentum that he's starting. And then you have Robert, Robert, Robert Easter, though, taking shots to the body. And that's the issue. And what I was going to bring up, and I kind of forgot the thought, was, you know, Robert, Robert Easter is, is, you know, he wants to engage. He wants to be bold. He wants to win this. But the issue is he's going to have to take a certain amount of punishment to do that. He's doing a good job now, showing a lot of good defense. So is so is Mikey. So is Mikey Garcia. The uh, the uh, thing is is that you know Garcia is also landing. He's finding ways to place his shots well against this awkward boxer puncher that he has in front of him. And and you know Robert Robert Easter um, is doing well also. I mean he's behind by the slimmest of margins. This is still anyone's fight, and we're four around. You know we're a third of the way done with it. So if if Robert Easter can you know can continue to do this, continue to fight this way, he could you know very well win this win this fight. The thing is is that Mikey Mikey Garcia does not want to lose. He he he's going to the body now. He's trying to set this up in such a way that it it's gonna it's gonna be fairly easy for him. So we will so we will have to see. You know, I, I think you gotta kinda give this round to Robert to Robert Garcia by the sum of some margins. Landed landed the harder shots, engaged more. Easter was not as busy. Now they're saying he's kinda tired. One judge giving it to Robert Easter. Another judge is gonna have it even, and another judge gives it to Mikey Garcia. So we're at 116, 115, moving into the fifth round. Is Robert Easter gonna wilt a little bit? Or or is it gonna be oh and he oh and he lands an uppercut on Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia lands a right hand. Oh Mikey Garcia. Oh just teeing off now on Robert Easter. And you gotta give him credit. He is slowly but surely, especially with that with that with that body with that body attack, he's taking a lot out of Robert Easter and he just landed a bunch of shots on him. And if I'm Mikey Garcia, um, you know, I'm wondering in my head, man, what kept him up? I mean, those were straight on shots, shots that landed flush. And Mikey Garcia, I'm sorry, Robert Easter took took them all, and he's still in there, and he's and he's and he's landing, and he and he seems to have very quick recovery skills, but man, man, when you got Mikey Garcia, who who just knows what he wants to do in the ring, knows how to control it, figures out ways to land his shots, it's hard to deny that. And man, you know, for a second I thought we were going to see Robert Robert Easter go down. He 
he just took some shots, and now he's getting hit with, with, uh, body shots, and he's getting hit with body shots, and, and, and shots to the head, and it's, and it just remains to be seen if Robert Easter can keep this, can keep this moving. Oh, wow, and he lands a right hand there, and, you know, right now, you know, you've got to give this round to Mikey Garcia if the judges remember that. But, you know, Robert Easter could very well, you know, start stealing some rounds here. You know, he could, he could, he could start doing some things with his reach, with his, with his, with his punches, and, 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 you know, it's, it, it's very likely that he could um, upset, you know, that he, he could continue to be com com competitive. Although this seems to be the point in the fight that Mikey Garcia seems pretty bent on taking over. As we move into the final minute of the fifth round, he's landing hard shots. Oh, he lands another one. Snapping back the head of, of Mikey Garcia. Both these guys just really giving good, solid performances. You know, and as, uh, as I've said in the past, when two fighters can implement their styles, that's when we see the best fights. And Mikey Garcia driving Robert Easter into the ropes, sensing that he has him hurt. Or Easter trying to fight back, hits him with an upper hand. Just doesn't have the power to really keep Mikey Garcia off of him. And, you know, Mikey Garcia really starting to take over. And, and, and I'm, I'm just wondering if we're seeing that happen here. And we're going to see Robert Robert Easter sort of make what Teddy Atlas has called that silent agreement. That hey, I'm I'm not going to get I'm not going to lose badly, but I'm not going to lose. I'm not going to put myself in harm's way to lose. So we'll have to see. All right, we have they're saying Garcia's breathing heavy. Easter's very tired, and as I thought, all the judges giving that round to Mikey Garcia. And we move into round number six. So you have uh, Mike Garcia, oh, moving Robert Easter into the ropes, Easter lands a left hand, and that's the thing is I, folks, I'm going to call this now, I think we're going to a, to a decision, I'm, I'm, I'm just not really seeing, you know, it, it, my, with Robert Easter's recovery skills and the way that Mike Garcia is landing those punches, he, he's winning this fight, it's a workmanlike decision. And uh, Robert Robert Easter, you know, I give him I give him all the credit in the world. He is hanging in there. He's trying to land his shots, but it's just not possible at this at this moment. Hmm. Lands a hard uppercut, driving Easter into the ropes. It's uh, you know, we're in the we're in the halfway point. He keeps he keeps landing. Oh, and oh, and another. Oh, and he goes to the body. He goes to the body. Robert, uh, Mikey Garcia does. He's really just trying to break Robert, Robert Easter down. Once again, folks, you are watching Boxing Time TV. My name is Evan Jacobs. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please turn on your notifications. Please ring the bell. Please uh, share these bouts with your friends. Please just spread the word about this. I want to make this a hub, the place to go for simulated boxing content, the way to create sort of a discussion. Just a little bit more hype for the fights, not that they really need much more. And then, uh, you know, you watch the real thing and you kind of com com compare them. Uh, that's, my, that's my feeling anyway. You know, and, and that's the thing, and Mike, Mike Garcia just staying out of the way of Robert Easter. Trust. Mike Garcia really is a, a very good boxer, a boxer puncher. His ability just to land shots... 
his ability to, you know, get his soul, his, 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 the other fighter's weakness is uh, highly, highly impressive. And I give him credit because Robert Easter could have been a really difficult opponent. He could have presented a lot of problems stylistically. But, you know, we're halfway through the fight now. They're saying that Easter is very tired. Like I said, I think we're going to a decision. We have Mikey Garcia, um, you know, winning that round. 10-9, one does giving it to him. 10-8, I think he's going to win these next few these next rounds even bigger. And I think Mikey Garcia is going to get a decision. Um, I, I, I just think that the way that Robert Easter recovers, you know, it, oh, and he's going to the body there, really just trying to make, really just trying to make a statement is Mikey Garcia. And he's landing, he's, he's going to the body again. Oh, and he, and he has, oh, and he lands a right, oh, and he lands a fuse a lot of punches. And man, Robert Easter goes down. That was some hard shots. And Easter gets right back up. And, you know, I, I, I give Mikey Garcia credit. You know, he, he, he's, he's doing the things that he needs to do. And, 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 you know, Robert Easter lands a left hand. And at this point, I don't think Mikey Garcia is too concerned with his, with his power. Set that knockout up. Sometimes I set that knockdown up with a nice body shot that wobbled him. And then landed a string of punches. Now has him against the ropes. And, you know, you know he could... He could knock him out, but I, I just, I think you're going to see Robert Easter in defensive mode, and he's going to kind of just hang on, and 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 and, that, and that's kind of what I think based on, you know, Mikey Garcia in the, in the last performances, you know, decision victories over Adrian Broner, just decision victory over, um, oh gosh, oh gosh, who was that? Who was that fighter? Sorry, a decision victory over Sergey Sergey Lipnitz. Oh and, he, oh, and he's just landing. He's teeing off on Robert Easter now. And and this is the kind of thing, you know, you don't know how much Robert Easter wants to take, you know, too many more of those of those shots. Oh, and he's landing that left hand. And what's really helped him is has just been, you know, really sticking to his game plan of, of, of going to the body attack, not being afraid to lose some rounds in the beginning. Oh, oh, he's landed some shots upstairs now. Oh, and he, oh, and he, oh, and he has, he has him, he has Easter hurt. And he's landing hard shots. And, and like I said, I think this is going to go to a decision. I think that Easter is seeing a lot of these shots. Even when he goes down, you know, it's almost like, I kind of wonder sometimes if fighters think that they should go down just because the punch was hard, maybe give themselves some time. And you, you, you got to give Easter credit, you know, giving, he's not being blown out here. Mike Garcia is only up by eight points on the judges' scorecards through all these rounds, but that's going to be a lot bigger after this. And and he's he's got to find a way. He's got to find a way. But oh oh, and then a body shot, body shot, and uh, and, uh, and 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 shots to the and shots to the head. And Easter's taking it all, um, trying to weather this a bit. Uh, I just don't know how how easy that's going to be for him. Oh, and he lands an uppercut. And man, Easter goes into the ropes, and we'll see what the judges say now as we move in. We're going to be going into the eighth round. Let's see where this goes from here. Easter's very tired. His eyes are glazed. 10-8 on one judge scorecard. 10-7. 10-7. So, uh, Mikey Garcia, like I said, at this point, pulling away. He's, he's 16 points ahead. And you know, it's 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 one of those things, you know, all the physical gifts that Robert Easter has, being so much taller, the longer reach, it, it it's it's you know, it's not they're not helping him right now. They are they are, you know, they, they at one point they were, at one point he was making this more of a fight. Now it is not. And you know, one wonders, you know, if he keeps getting beatings like he got in that last round, will his corner let it go? Um, Mikey Garcia still sticking to the to the to the body shot. He seems to be getting Easter's hands down, and and, and Mike Garcia really fighting, you know, giving a tremendous performance here, because he's got a very live guy in front of him, a strong guy, a tough guy, and he's just going for it. Mikey Garcia is is going for it. He's doing his best, giving himself every opportunity to win, and you gotta love that, and you gotta and you gotta respect it. And he goes to the body now, on 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 Robert on Robert Easter, and he's and he's parrying the shots. Oh, and he goes to the body again. And 
But now it's almost like Garcia is just sort of playing with him. He's measuring him. He's looking. He's looking at at the distance between the shots, seeing what he brings. Oh, oh, and he lands a straight right hand. And one has to wonder at this point, what is keeping Robert Robert Easter up? Because he is he's getting tagged with shots, though he gets off the ropes and he lands some shots. But it's almost like Mike Garcia is letting him in him, sort of giving him a him a false hope that hey. You know, I, uh, you know, you know, maybe you still are in this fight so that he can keep Easter throwing punches, which give Mikey Garcia an opportunity to land more. We're coming, we're now in the final minute. Oh, and more body shots. More body shots on, on, on Robert, Robert Easter. Oh, and he just keeps landing. He just keeps landing. Oh, he lands an uppercut, and Easter's just taking. Easter, his output's really gotten low now. And, you know, he, he's trying to land. You know, you give him credit. He, he, he's had some success. Still, uh, you know, after being beaten up, you know, he's still, he's still landing. But it, it, it really, you know... At some point, his corner may want to think about stopping it. We're going to, we're going to go into the ninth round. We're going to see where we are with the judges. But, yeah, Easter, they're just saying it's tired. 10-8 from, from Mikey Garcia, 10-8 from Mikey Garcia, and 10-8 for Mikey Garcia. So we're going to, we're going to have to see here. It's, we're in the ninth round. Uh, we got four more rounds to go. First three rounds of this fight were fairly even. And then the final, the, this next four... Uh, have not been even. Mike Garcia pulling, pulling away, using his physical attributes, you know, using sort of some of that against Robert Easter, and uh, you know, punishing him along the ropes. Oh, going to the body. It is Robert Easter, and um, you know, it says a, uh, as a fight fan, you know, I'm. I like what I'm seeing, you know, I like what I'm seeing, especially for Mikey Garcia. I, I think, I mean, I, I I don't know that Vasyl Lomachenko gets by him that easily. I, I don't know that he even gets by him. Mikey Mikey Garcia, you know, very strong little fighter, very, very dedicated fighter. Maybe not as versatile as, as, um, as Lomachenko, but we saw that Jorge Linares was able to drop him and... Mike Garcia certainly has power, and I, I don't think Mike Garcia would totally rely on that. I think he would have a good game game plan, and you know, have, and incorporate his power into that. Oh, landing, landing! Oh, an, an uppercut from Robert from Robert Garcia. Oh, more more punches coming in. Oh, and he keeps and he keeps landing on him. Oh, and Mikey Garcia, you know, Mike Garcia looking for these openings, and you know he may be tired too, even though he's winning. You know, it's it's very easy to get lulled in. Uh, you know, this fight's been sort of a carbon copy. Um, after like the fifth round, maybe even the fourth, of what, um, oh, oh, wow, oh, wow, and he wobbles him, he goes to the body, he goes to the body, and Mike Garcia keeps pounding Robert, Robert Easter, you know, he wants to end it, he wants to, but, you know, Easter, like I said, those good recuperative abilities, he's doing everything he can to hang around, it looks like Easter's gonna get into the championship rounds. Which, you know, good for him. Good that he's able to do that. A lot of technical stuff happening here. And just a really great performance by Mikey Garcia. You know, if you're a Mikey Garcia fan, you've got to love what you're seeing. But now they're saying that Garcia has a swollen eye. Wow, maybe a chain of events. Maybe Easter can be rangy and somehow, somehow... 
somehow, you know, maybe close the eye and land. All judges giving that round to Mikey Garcia by 10 8, but we're in the championship rounds. And, and what if my, what if Robert Easter can start getting pesky with his punches, keep at a distance, even though Mikey Garcia has him has had him hurt. If he can land, I mean, you know, he's he swelled up his eye. Maybe he can land in such a way that he can Oh. Oh, and he lands again. He lands again the left hand. Oh, and Mike Garcia driving Robert Easter to the ropes. He probably sees that swollen eye as a nuisance. Robert Easter sees it as an opportunity. And if I'm Robert Easter, I land on it as much as I can. I find way, you know, just keeps himself in the fight. This is this could be his lottery ticket. I mean, it would, you know, probably, you know, it's, it's. I think it's, you know, at this level, it's get the victory. Just keep getting the victory. And I think, oh, wow, oh, wow. And he's wobbled. Oh, Michael Garcia has him hurt. But, you know, look at that recover, look at that recuperative ability. And Mike Garcia, you know, he, he's trying to take him out. Um, you know, Mike, Mike Garcia is up by 28 points. But it's a question of will he remain up by that much? Is he able to? And, and you know, that's the thing. If Robert Easter can suddenly start getting a little bit trickier here, he has three rounds to get it done. So he has some time to get it done. Um, just have to get his jab going. But the problem is, he, because he is really close to him. He's landing hard shots. He's hurting him. He's hurting Robert Easter with every shot that he throws. And it's creating a very, a very, very interesting fight here in the 10th in the tenth round. We have two more rounds to go after this. Easter's still landing. Oh, and he lands again. Oh, and he and he's he's trying to keep him away. Mike Garcia having a really good performance, but he's thrown a lot of punches. He's thrown a lot of punches, and the question is, is is, is what Robert Easter's doing enough? I mean, if this was like the sixth round, it could be kind of a desperate thing. But Mikey Garcia has done a pretty good job of negating Robert Robert Easter. So having a swollen eye is not big of a deal, but Easter's landing on it. He just he he just landed on it. If I'm Robert Easter, I want to punch, punctuate the round with a hard shot just to let him know, hey, I'm going to be here with you. So now they're saying that Garcia has a swollen eye. Easter is very tired. The judge gives it 10-8 to Garcia, 10-8 to Garcia, 10-8 to Garcia. We have two more rounds to go, folks, in this battle between Mikey Garcia and Robert Easter. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. You are watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with people. Please tell people, hey, this is, you know, this is a hub for boxing content. It's just a, you know, it's a great way to get discussions going to see maybe a little bit more of a technical look at some of this stuff without having to just have talking heads talk and discuss what's going, what's what's going on. It's it's nice that this can be a part of it. Oh, you land the left hook. Does does Mikey go see all he takes? Oh, he's taking some punches. Oh, oh, and he's wobbled now. He's wobbled. Oh, he's wobbled. He's just taking all oh, look at that. Mikey Garcia exploding on him. He wants to end this. He wants to he he he's just trying to put his shots together. He's landing body shots. Oh, and he hurts Robert Garcia. He hurts Robert Easter again. And you know you gotta give Easter credit. He's trying. Mikey Garcia, you know, Easter is so hopelessly behind on points. Needs a knockout to win. And could get it by way of a TKO. You know, Mikey Garcia with a with a swollen eye, but you know, he's really had his way with him. And I give Robert Easter credit because he's getting cracked and he's standing in there and he's still landing punches. And every he's gotta have all of this sap from him, but he's still doing everything that he can. He lands another one. 
Oh, and another one driving Robert Eastern to the ropes. Oh, man. Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia trying to come on. Punctuate this performance. Would love to get a knockout over Robert Easter. Easter's hanging in there. Mikey Garcia tired. Probably throwing a, a lot of punches. Um, this is a big lightweight he's got in front of him. Wonder how he feels about the fact that he's taking his best shots. He's remained standing. He's only been dropped once. And now they're trading shots. And oh man, he Easter, you know, has his eyes swollen. He can swell it shut. He can potentially get a victory over Mikey Garcia. But we would have to see. That would be a major upset on Boxing Time TV. And these guys are trading. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh wow, he had, oh, he had, oh he has Robert Easter hurt and he just, oh and he drops him and Easter give him all the credit in the world. He, oh and he gets right back up. Robert Easter is going to be there till the end. He wants to see this championship round and, and Mike Garcia is coming out against him. Must be wondering what's holding this guy up. Easter's trying to fight at a range, trying to land. We'll see what the judges say as Mikey Garcia drops him again. Has a swollen eye, they're saying Easter's exhausted. It's going to be probably 10 sevens across the board for Mikey Garcia. And that's exactly what it is. Oh, 10, I'm sorry, 2 10 sevens, 2 one ten eight. We're going down to the 12th round. And let's see as to what happens between these two fighters. As Mikey Garcia has dropped him twice, Robert Easter needs a knockout. Mikey Garcia could play it, could play it safe. Instead, he's trying to go all the way. Trying to get knockouts all the way. Don't know if it's going to happen for him, but he's certainly trying to make it happen. Oh. You have Robert Easter trying to land. He takes a shot to the body. And like I said, I, I felt this fight was going to go the distance. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in, for staying with me. Pretty, pretty exciting fight. A little bit of drama late, you know, when we saw that Garcia was, I was swollen. But now you have um, Easter trying to, trying to land, trying to catch Mikey Garcia, trying to time him. And at no point in this fight has Mikey Garcia really been hurt. He's taken some shots. But I think, you know, it's fair to say that Robert Easter's gotten the worst of it. And we will have to see what the judges say. And I think that that's where this is going. But it's all academic at this point. I think that Mikey Garcia is going gonna, is gonna to win this bout. So we're on the half final. We're at the final. We're at the halfway point of the final round. As Mikey Garcia pushing Robert Easter into the ropes with body shots. Doing every, you know, punctuating this performance in such a way that, that no doubt is being left. And, and you know, maybe, maybe, maybe not so intent on getting a knockout. Maybe feels that he's made his point. But, you know, you know just landed with some hard shots uh, and, and just missing. And you have Robert Easter. Oh, he lands with a, he lands with a right hand. Oh, and he has him wobbled again. He has him wobbled again. Mikey Garcia does. And and Robert Easter trying to stay in this. Will he? Is it, you know, it's a lot to think about. All right, so this goes to the scorecards. It's going to be Mikey Garcia. What a what a great performance by by him. Took it away from Robert Easter. Never let him into the fight. Um, you know, just did the things that he needed to do, and you know that's pretty much all you can hope for. So the decision goes to Mikey Garcia. 
Um, the winner is Mikey Garcia by unanimous decision. The fight lasted 12 rounds. Garcia was not knocked down and has a swollen eye. These two was knocked down two times. 118 to 105. Uh, 120 to 103. Um, and then 118 to 102. So, you got to give it to Mikey Garcia. He uh, had a great performance. Once again, my name is Evan Jacobs. Thank you so much for watching Boxing Time TV. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share these links with your families and friends. And remember, why Boxing Time TV, our motto is, why wait? Watch it now, and then when the real thing happens, watch that and compare. Thank you so much, and we'll see you at the fight.